Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Our destination for this show is a great store. It's located here in Norman, and it's called Christmas Expressions. Located just east of the intersection of Lindsay Street and 24th Avenue Southwest, this is a must-stop shop during the Christmas season especially. All sorts of Christmas ornaments and decorations will show you around the store throughout the show. But first things first, we're going to be talking about one of the brightest Christmas light displays in Oklahoma. That's right. My family and I got a front row seat on opening night at the Chickasha Festival of Light. And here's why you should take your group to the Southwestern Oklahoma tradition. The Christmas season is in full swing and there's no better way to celebrate than with a trip to a beautiful light display. And we've got the perfect one for you in Chickasha, the Festival of Light. When you show up, it's just fun. It's a blast. Several years ago, we coined the phrase Christmas through the eyes of a child. And when you walk your kiddos around here just a little bit and anybody that takes a second and looks at these kids, it's just Christmas fun. With right around 3 million lights, the Festival of Light has everything that makes this holiday season bright. Lights everywhere, sparkle, excitement. It really puts you in the mood, especially having weather like we're having this year. It really just sets the tone for the holidays. Patty Mayhew has made the Festival of Light an annual stop for her family. It's like a family tradition. We always come and it's just something we do with our family and we love. And she has a few favorite displays that she suggests you check out. Walk under the bridge. Walk under the bridge is most definitely the thing to do. The wishing was a great place to take pictures too. The big tree is a fan favorite every year too. The big tree is huge for us because people can see it as they're driving into town. Uh, when they're coming up the highway, they see the top of the big tree and they love it. We found that the places where there's more lights all together, people kind of just show up there and they take pictures because the pictures turn out great when they're there. This is a display where they can get up close and personal and get close to the lights. And there's merry-go-rounds that you can walk inside of. There's a fun wedding chapel that you can stand inside of. There are eight new displays this year and so many other fun activities for you and your family to enjoy. There's lots to do once you're here. Our carriage team has brought in a whole new team of horses and a brand new carriage to come. We have set up an entire new area for our food trucks. So not only are our food trucks together, we also have a seating area that's fun and festive with lights hung. Makes it look like you're just having a nice fun outdoor evening. Of course, it can't be a festival of light season without the big man in red, Santa. And he makes his way down here when he gets a few weekends off for pictures. Folks need to plan a trip because there's nothing like this. We have a state with incredible light displays spread all over. Just make this a destination. The Festival of Light runs through New Year's Eve. Hours are 6 to 10, Sunday through Thursday. They're open till 11 on Saturday and Sunday. Pack your patience because sometimes the line of cars to get in is long, but it is so worth it. And another visit worth this holiday season to visit is actually the Fred Jones Museum of Art located also here in Norman. Quinn Tran shows us a unique exhibit that's on display for just a few more days. The Fred Jones Junior Museum of Art takes us back in time. Picturing Indian Territory 1819 to 1907 is the latest featured exhibit. These are portraits of the Cherokee Chief John Ross, um, one of the most notable political figures in Cherokee history, but also in the history of Indian Territory. Mark White is the museum director. John Ross, uh, of course, resisted Indian removal. Uh, he took the United States government to court uh, in the Supreme Court, ultimately lost, um, but became a real advocate for tribal rights here in Indian Territory. The exhibit includes oil paintings, drawings, and art from news publications. I think that there were uh, a number of interests that the artists and journalists that came from the outside had. I think that for many Americans in the 19th century, Indian Territory was a mysterious place. So there were a lot of artists that were very interested in, in the tribes and the native nations that were here, especially after the Trail of Tears. Um, there was a lot of interest in how the new arrivals, the Cherokee, Choctaw, Chickasaw Creek, and Seminole, uh, were faring in this new land after they had been removed from their homelands in the southeast. This goes beyond just Oklahoma history. Right. And that was, I think, one of the things that we really wanted to do with this exhibit was to show that Indian Territory was not isolated, but that it was involved in American politics in general. There was a lot of important um, historical events that happened here. Uh, the Indian Territory was for a while 
part of the southern route to California during the gold strikes. Um, it was instrumental in the Civil War, uh, especially for the Confederacy. This is the first scholarly examination of the visual history of Indian Territory. It took curators about a decade to research and gather the images. The items come from prestigious locations, the Smithsonian. Local museums include the Philbrook and Gilcrease, and private collections. There's a lot of history that is uh, captured by these images, and I think one of the objectives of this exhibit was to really demonstrate that visual imagery was a way in which 19th century audiences understood uh, what Indian Territory was, what was happening, who the people and the places were. The exhibit attracts not only historians, families with children are exploring the state's early history in a very visual way. I think it would be a good jumping off point because you can show pictures and um, sculptures and artwork. I think it's just an easier way for them to get the concept if they can see something and then hear about it as well. There's been um, some really fantastic um, people uh, that have contributed to the history of this state. Um, there are some really tragic events that have occurred over the history of this state. Um, but there is nothing quite like it anywhere in the nation or the world. And we wanted to demonstrate that in part through the imagery of this exhibition. Picturing Indian Territory tells a unique story, the good, the bad, through artists, illustrators, and journalists of that time. In Norman, Quintran, Discover Oklahoma. You have until December the 30th to catch the Picturing Indian Territory exhibit. Admission to the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art is always free thanks to a partnership with the OU President's Office and the Athletic Department. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma, Holidays coming up, I'm saying ladies, do not bake. Call me or some of my assistants and they will help you out. Meet the fried pie lady. We are taste testing some of her treasured treats. We have an arena on the property and we have uh, barrel racing some Saturdays. And what else would you expect to find at a Western Oklahoma winery? It's kind of like maybe if Willy Wonka lived in Tulsa. I mean, that kind of a uh, atmosphere. Plus the Oklahoma Christmas candy that can't be beat. It's fresh, it's good, and it just, I mean, it tastes like a true Indian taco. Also filling up on Oki Traditions, the restaurant that has it all, still ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime, like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you this week from the shop Christmas Expressions in Norman, where they will customize hand-painted ornaments just for you. This place is the perfect reason for Oklahomans to shop local this Christmas season. Absolutely, and if your Christmas drive happens to take you through Murray County on I-35, we have the perfect spot to stop. Lisanne Anderson takes us to Arbuckle Fried Pies on Exit 51 in Davis. My name is Nancy Fulton, and locally I'm known as the Fried Pie Lady, and maybe nationally too, I hope. But what we have here is a homemade fried pie, but I have taken my grandmother's recipes that made a flaky pie crust and uh, instigated it into a fried pie that would be the same thing as if you come to my kitchen at home and I made you just three or four little pies. But I have streamlined it to where we can make several thousand a day. And it's a good thing they can make that many because Nancy and her crew had them lining up just to get a taste. Okay, we have apricot apple, peach, pineapple, cherry, chocolate, coconut, lemon. All of those can be made into a cream pie. And for the holidays, add in pumpkin, sweet potato, raisin, and the ever popular pecan. We have pecan that's very, very unique. Our pecan filling tastes the same as if you come to my house and I made a whole pecan pie, except you have the advantage of getting a hand individual serve. It's nice and sweet and uh, just tastes homemade. 
Ernesto Tafala just tried the pecan for the first time. He says he'll be back. And this is where the magic happens. They can crank out up to three dozen fried pies every three minutes. And hey, if you're traveling for the holidays, stop here, get a batch to go. You'll be a hit at all those holiday parties with all that flaky crust. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Well, it's a great place to stop, you know, and the restrooms are clean, but most importantly, at least right now I don't have a line. I've been where I was over there in line and trying to get into the parking lot even, so this is terrific. But it turns out, the hardest question of all. What's your favorite kind? Can you pick a favorite? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good. <laughs> and Nancy invites you to make a stop for some of Grandma's best fried pies if you're headed over the river and through the Arbuckles. Holidays coming up, I'm saying ladies, do not bake. Call me or some of my assistants and they will help you out. Discovering Oklahoma in Davis right off I-35, I'm Lisanne Anderson. Arbuckle Fried Pies is open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can find them on Facebook and they say call ahead and they'll heat some up for you. Now that we've got Christmas planned, it's time to start talking New Year's. Oh boy, it sure is. And we all know that the big cities in Oklahoma have a lot going on. But if you want to get away from it all and have a quieter night, our friends at the Agritourism Department have an idea. You need to visit Woods and Waters Winery in Anadarko. The first thing that came to mind visiting the award-winning Woods and Waters Winery and all the activities they have going on here was this place is like the grapes of joy. The fun starts here. We are the only winery in the U.S. that has fun, sophisticated wines. Fun, sophisticated, and engaging. We have a winery where you can come in and do a wine tasting and buy wine that we make on the property, and that's open Wednesday through Friday from 1 to 6 and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. On Saturdays, we also have a dining room. We serve brunch and dinner at the steakhouse, and we have kids' menus and high chairs. As for some of the events they have, here are just a few. They have murder mystery dinners, wine tasting supper clubs, they have cooking and wine making classes, and... We have an amazing New Year's Eve dinner. We have a very romantic Valentine's Day dinner. There's also a bed and breakfast, and... We have an arena on the property and we have uh, barrel racing some Saturdays, and we have team roping and team roping competitions other days. Absolutely love it, super great people. Kimberly is a regular customer. She describes the food as... Fabulous. Oh, if you like their spinach artichoke dip, it is off the chart, off the chart, great. The wine and the food are quite spectacular, actually. I asked the winery's very talented chef, Jeff Powell, about their impressive menu. His favorite? It's hard to beat that ribeye and, and a glass of Malbec. It's just, I mean, that's a flavor combination. I just, I don't think you can beat it. That's pretty darn good. And we get a lot of compliments on it. Tori Sparks and her husband attended the New Year's Eve dinner. We had our pictures taken and we had um, our, um, our appetizers. We had wine pairings with each of our appetizers. You can also find at the winery some of the products Tori creates. One is a chocolate sauce and the other is buttered honey and both are amazing. Right in front of you is the winery. The tours at the winery are also informative, educational and quite enjoyable. We can hold them and mature the wine in these barrels and in fact you can taste some out of here. Let's try some here. Everything is done on site. Now, I've always found the process of making wine to be fascinating, and the margin for error is quite thin. Mmm. Fabulous. Nice. Wow. Wow, that's good. Our friends at Oklahoma Agritourism encourage you to explore the Oklahoma Wine Trail. Get off the beaten path and plan a trip full of tours, tastings, and relaxation with a copy of their brochure, The Oklahoma Wine Trail. It's easy to get one. Just head to our website, travelok.com, and click on where it says Request Free Brochures. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Once sweets, this is the place to come. They have everything you could ever imagine for candy, even stuff I've never heard of. One of the best places in the state to stop off for some Christmas candy. We have an Italian that we uh, include a, a really good salami and a thick cut ham and 
pepperoni with provolone on top, and we put that on a hoagie, and people love it. And the restaurant worth the drive. Why you need to load up your friends and family and head southwest when Discover Oklahoma continues. Open seven days a week, 365 days a year, Oklahoma's great state parks are stocked with summertime adventures. Suit up and cool off in a lake or river. Hike the trails, dig for treasures, tour the caverns, or settle in under the stars. Book your stay at a cozy state park cabin or lodge. Check in Sunday or Monday and get your fourth night absolutely free. Get all the details at TravelOK.com slash SPDeals and come see for yourself. Oklahoma Today magazine brings you stunning photography and authentic award-winning stories of home from Oklahoma. The only magazine that covers the entire state, Oklahoma Today showcases what we love about Oklahoma, bringing to you the very best of its people, places, culture, history, and of course, its legendary food. This holiday season, give the gift of Oklahoma Today to family and friends for just $14.95. Visit tvoffer.oklahomatoday.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're taking in the sights of the Christmas season at a shop in Norman that specializes in that. It's called Christmas Expressions and it's located on Lindsay Street. Here you'll find the Buyer's Choice Carolers. This line is proudly made in the USA. And it's an understatement to say they have so many wonderful seasonal items here, but they also have regular gift items for any time of the year. But there's one thing they don't have, something my kids and I bet every Oklahoma kid is hoping to wake up to on Christmas morning in their stocking candy. Candy, no problem there. In fact, Julie Chen has an idea of where you can find plenty of candy and it's called, appropriately enough, the Candy Castle in Tulsa. I love candy. <laughs> South Tulsa's new Candy Castle is a candy store with so much more. Candy Castle's been a big part of Tulsa for a long time, and we're just expanding on that by adding a soda fountain and ice cream parlor. There's nothing else like this in Tulsa, so that's why I like coming here so much. We have everything from bulk gummies to bulk hard candies to bulk wrap candies, um, little individual gifts. We have Asian candy, we have foreign candy, um, really anything you can imagine, gourmet chocolates, bulk chocolates. I mean, you name it, we probably have it. We have one of the largest gummy selections in Tulsa, and we try and keep our prices affordable, too. This store is packed with more than a 1,000 unique candies and homemade fudge, too. Add in their ice cream and soda fountain, and the options are bottomless. Well, we'll make you any soda from scratch you want. We use Tarani syrup, which we tried lots of different syrups, but that's our favorite. We built our own custom high-pressure carbonation system. That's the trick. Make lots of bubbles really fast. And we have this awesome crushed ice to make you a fresh soda from scratch. The staff studied pharmacy manuals to perfect their recipes. And Candy Castle even imports phosphates to give you the tastiest, most authentic soda fountain experience around. If you haven't had one before, it's a totally different experience than popping open a Coke. I'm thinking about trying one today, probably this one. You'll find a big drink menu here with items like Lime Rickies, New York Egg Creams, and the $10 Ultimate Milkshake cotton candy, cake balls, giant gummy bears. And so we had to actually build a foundation of ice cream in the middle on top of the milkshake. So it was, it was like building an architectural, you know, giant here. But once we had it, people love it. And you can make it any way you want. You can have a chocolate one, you can have a cotton candy one, it's up to you. And the ultimate milkshake, it's actually made for two people. But so far, they haven't seen anyone share one. The best thing about this place is that it's kind of your playground. So there's all these different syrups, there's all these different candies, ice creams. You get to be the creator, we're just the facilitators. It's kind of like maybe if Willy Wonka lived in Tulsa. I mean, that kind of a atmosphere where you can find anything. If you imagine it, they can make it. Candy Castle is constantly coming up with new items, like this daylight donut ice cream sandwich. They also create customized candy buffets for special events. Yummy. I like the milkshakes and I like to get different flavors every time. So um, I also like the chocolate covered nuts. So any of those are just great. I like a lot of the drinks. Um, I'm hooked on the Tutti Frutti Jelly Bellies and the Crunchy Gummy Bears. This is the place to come. They have everything you could ever imagine for candy, even stuff I've never heard of. Candy Castle, 
it's where to go for a taste of the sweet life. When you come in here, it's our safe zone, our judgment-free zone, our be happy, and I get to be a part of that all day. It kind of reminds me of Cheers, I guess. You know, they know me, and so it's like coming home. It's just a really nice place to come, and they're always friendly. I can't wait to go. In Tulsa, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. The Candy Castle is on East 106th Street in Tulsa. They're open every day from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. except Sundays when it's noon to 6. They may close early Christmas Eve though, so be sure to check ahead. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. We have chocolate cream pie, coconut cream pie, and a peach. The Southwestern Oklahoma restaurant with the pie that's to die for. How to get there coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. The Rhythm and Roots Music Trail is your front row seat to excitement. Hit the road to explore rock, blues, country, all of Oklahoma's rich music heritage. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. One more look at all the Christmas decorations you can find at this specialty shop in Norman Christmas Expressions on Lindsay Street. Home to dozens of unique and special ornaments. You're looking at the Old World line right now. Now, Dino, you know what they say this time of year. And what is that? So much shopping, so little time. Well, that's true, but there's always time to stop at a great restaurant because you got to refuel. That's true, and one of my favorite places to stop in my hometown of Lawton to grab a bite, we'll show it to you right now. Red Boot Grill in Lawton hasn't been open for very long, but after hearing from several viewers about how great it is, we just had to check it out. We opened on January the 11th, 2016. Christy Red Elk spent most of her professional career working in human relations, but always loved to cook and everyone always told her she should open a restaurant, so that's exactly what she did. We had a very large family, we just always cooked and everyone was always saying you should open a restaurant, you should do this, you should do that, but we never thought it would come to, to this. So we found this building and it was just in horrible disrepair. We come in and, and it took six months to clean it all up. All of the recipes are Christy's original creations. She learned growing up cooking for her family. Red Boot serves down-home Oklahoma food like chicken fry, hamburgers, and sandwiches. The burgers are a favorite at Red Boot Grill. The traditional hamburger, cheeseburger, grilled onion burger, but they'll also find something fun like the tombstone and we take uh, onions and put them in a special breading and we deep fry those with jalapenos and then we put some barbecue, special barbecue sauce on top and the patties are always real juicy, so it's really, they really enjoy that. There are several sandwiches to choose from as well. We have an Italian that we uh, include a, a really good salami and a thick cut ham and pepperoni with provolone on top and we put that on a hoagie and people love it. Seem to be, it seems to be becoming more and more popular. It's the sandwich of choice for John Webb. My favorite is the Italian sandwich that she makes here. My goal was to have one of everything that she's got on it, so it's going to be a while before I, I accomplish that goal. Another crowd favorite is the Indian taco. So we do an Indian taco, which is a traditional Indian taco. It's the fry bread. It's fresh, it's good, and it just, I mean, it tastes like a true Indian taco. Christy also makes her own desserts, which are different every day. We'll have four or five really good things every day. So this morning we have chocolate cream pie, coconut cream pie, and a peach, and um, cookies, we, we made peanut butter cookies this morning. But it isn't just the food that makes Red Boot Grill so special, it's the feeling you get when you're here. Uh, just a real comfortable, um, quaint, uh, family family atmosphere. Like I said, first of all, the great food, but um, it really is, you just got that family feel. They just go above and beyond trying to, trying to make you feel at home. It's, it's unbelievable how it's just thrived. And I really believe it's because we, we're a family we're family owned and operated. We love what we do. We, uh, we want to treat our patrons like family. 
And if you're looking for a great Oklahoma-owned restaurants to try out, we've got over 200 recommendations for you, and it's all corners of the state. It's all inside the new Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide. Head to our website, TravelOK.com, and click on where it says Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thanks to the folks at Christmas Expressions and Norman for hosting us this week. A reminder, they're on Lindsay Street, just behind Del Rancho at the corner of 24th Avenue Southwest. All sorts of great gift ideas. And for the record, they aren't only about Christmas, although you will find some very impressive holiday items here. Now, we want to give a little extra plug to all the Lindsay Street merchants in Norman. Construction has closed the Lindsay Street ramp to and from I-35 for several months now. And as a result, spots like Christmas Expressions and all the businesses along Lindsay are experiencing almost a 50% decline in business. So we'd like to give an extra special reminder to shop local and take the time to check out all the businesses along Lindsay in Norman. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, hot spots to hit up when the kids are out of school and the relatives are in town. And one of my favorite places to warm up in the town of Chickasha. We're headed for the Crazy 8 Cafe and Coffee House. Don't miss that and so many more places to check out next Saturday night right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.